Right now, the Houston music scene is very dynamic and influential over the urban culture throughout the whole country. You can look at Drake, you can look at many, many artists right now, and you can see that our sound, the sound that was created right here, that was developed out of the screwed up sound from DJ Screw, that sound has went on to transcend across the country and is no doubt influencing music everywhere. show was take some of the older platinum and gold selling artists and team them up with some of our hottest up and coming artists and put them all on stage together and actually invest time and energy into the production of the stage with rehearsals put together a good show and make this something that's not only special for Houston but also special for the country so tonight is a special night tonight we gonna salute that sound we're gonna salute the culture we're gonna salute the cars the lingo salute to the slabs and everything that made houston music and took it to where it is now excited about it. I know I've kind of discussed with everybody in here what we're getting ready to do. Um, like I said before, this is just the first step towards a, a bigger picture. And the bigger picture is making sure that everybody in the end game, we want to take RakeShopNation.com and help move our music scene, help just help support the artists and stuff. So, And let's give a show. Stage props, backdrops. Uh, uh, smoke, lights, not just some rapper on stage holding his nuts with 40 homeboys behind him in black t-shirt. 300 people on the stage, you can't even see the artist, you don't even know where the artist is. I got involved with this project, got contacted by D-Rick, and go way back, and I handled all, pretty much all his album covers uh, for Red Shot Records, man. It was a long, nice, long, long workload that I, I was a, you know, it was a pleasure to have a, you know, had a chance to actually work with a lot of the Houston artists and, and really, you know, just get in and kind of, he gave me the whole floor and the whole lead on, on whatever it take to pull off the design ideas. But the main thing that I really uh, liked uh, was handling the backdrop for the stage. It was a good backdrop for the whole concert from everybody from the crowd view to see. Uh, it, was, it was all the slabs put together. The street, I made it look like they ride into Houston coming down. And uh, I then I put it right up in the sky above uh, Houston skyline. I put a giant rim in the head on the on actually on the uh, on the knock of the spoke. It, it actually had the Texan uh, Texas little uh, emblem on on it. So it was kind of a good touch, you know, almost like the cherry on top. They got another kid, Walt. He actually do a lot of tour manager house blues. We help get him to help us actually coordinate the show. How did I get introduced to, to, to Lucy the Slab? Um, you know, I, I was working at House of Blues. Uh, I've worked with a couple of different uh, Houston rappers here uh, a few times and got introduced to, to a guy named D-Rec and, you know, he, he offered me a, a gig as a production manager for the Slab tour. And uh, I signed on with them and, you know, having a look back. You know, I've been chilling for a while, so I'm going to start off with guys I know I can call and I know you know what I'm saying? That uh, I have a relationship with that I think will come in that can bring something to the table. First person over there, I know for sure, because uh, we working closely together right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a whole lot of Red Shot Nation 713 stuff with, with Kiki. So if you really go back and you play it through history, it was three people that, to me, was pivotal in the whole school text taking off like that. And that's Pat, Screw, and Kiki. And Keith's still here. OG. I mean, really he kind of, he set the standards. The lingo, the way people talk, the way they act, the ad libs, everything about Houston was what he put on the screw tape. So he definitely got to be involved. I mean, he created the dance. 
Southside, <laughs> Southside had a dance to it. So it's kind of, I mean, we can flash that flashback. They got to dance now. You doing the corn, but I, I'm too old and big to even do stuff like that. I couldn't do nothing so like that. Right. But I will do the Southside. <laughs> I am documented doing the Southside. <laughs> Google it. I will do it the Southside in a minute. Bring us together, slab is something that's um, very important to the city, um, very important to the whole state, very important to our culture, everything that we build up. So having a slab tour and having some of the biggest artists, artists in the city um, being involved with it's great. It's a, it's a big move. I, I talk to Slim. You know what I'm saying? So me and Slim, we go all the way back Slim to the phrase phase and the dirty dirty, man. So pretty much everything that we have collaborated on has been successful, you know what I'm saying? So gotta get Slim on board. I'm excited about it, man. You know, it's the OGs at Houston, man. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of everybody on the show. You know what I'm saying? I've seen these dudes do their thing for years. So, you know, it's going to be a beautiful thing, man. I'm, I'm ready to get on stage with my people, man, who I really believe, who I love, and ride for the city. Paul Wall is an excellent oh, yeah. choice because Paul going to work his ass off. Paul going to get you everything he got. That's Slab guard right now, you know what I'm saying? Swinging so in the got rain. Slab king, slab guard. Salute to the slab. <laughs> yeah. So, just um, listen to the album. He got his vodka, he got his merchandise. So he got a lot of things to bring to the table, so I guess it's the easy thing. Right. And see, that's really what, to me, like, really, that's what this is about. It's trying to create a tour. A lot, a lot of times, our artists are leaving here and they don't have a vehicle to promote their projects on. Yeah. Other places, other more thriving music scenes, man, you jump on a tour, you get to go to each town, push your product, make a little break. So, all these guys got projects coming out, so it's gonna be very instrumental that they see the bigger picture. That we can go run through the whole market, they can push their projects, Introduce themselves or their singles to radio, be in Greece with the DJs, all this behind the tour. Right, right. And those are the type of things that I want to see leaving out of Houston more. Those are the things that I want to see happening out here more. And that's, that's really what this is about. It's about us just taking those little steps and putting things in order. The last person we talk about, I think he's going to be very instrumental in it, and that's Zero. Most city done. He has a yeah. cult following. King of the Gitter. I mean, Rogue probably one of the most talented artists in this country. Rogue got like how many albums? 20 something albums? 20 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 albums? Because, just being real, I mean, it's just too much talent to be sitting here. Right. And uh, so we gonna do everything we can. Like I said, everybody that we do bring in, we got to convince them, you know, that this is uh, this is gonna be good for them, and it is. Art is gonna be artists anyway. So we just gotta push through. You know, it ain't easy sometimes to make them see things that's good for them. But I guarantee you, when we get where we're going, they're going to appreciate it. Man, that, that yeah. core four that you got, man, that you just said, Roll, Key, Pile, Slim, all new projects is coming out right now. That fit is just, whoa. The younger artists, what, what, y'all, what, what young artists out here, like, y'all thinking? They moving a lot now. Well, I think for Houston right now, um, Cheddar the Connect. So Flick of the Rest, it was just debuted on the new season of Empire. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's a good look because he, he's on a national platform. He's touring the country, the national TV placement with, with the number one show on Fox News right now. So I definitely think he'd be a good look to kind of show that new vibe of Houston, that new direction, uh, new sound, new feel. And I was in L.A. I went took my son to go eat some ice cream, little white kids over there. Flick of the wrist. <laughs> I mean, it made a man. So they flicking the wrist. And, I mean, that's James Harden thing here. <laughs> that's all he talking about. So 
Yeah. That's a new hot coming guy. Another one I'm thinking about. I'm gonna probably get a. Yeah, DJ Chose, he got a, you know what I'm saying? He got a little hit song, you know what I'm saying? Radio, radio, radio. I like Chose, I like Chose. Chose. And that's, that's OG, Ron, and C-Ars, too. They work together on whatnot. And, you know, that's what I'm saying? Like, you know 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 you know what I'm saying? So I think sometimes, a lot of times, this thing get left out of the conversation, man. But he a true pioneer, you know? And I know what that feel like. So I'm anything, man, yeah, anything. Man. Man. Some of my kids is responsible for running C fuck at you. I mean, well, I can, we can get this documented <laughs> now. I mean, when you slow down that R. Kelly 12 play, I was doing them circle motions. So, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean you know, I like to do them circle motions. Don't fuck at this, man. Every one of them. If you weren't getting no pussy back then, I'm sorry. You know, what would be very special, because you can never get perfect, but what made this special and like a dream come true, bridging all of the gaps. If there's a way, and, and it's, it's talks and it's work, and we're all working hard, but if we can get Face or Bun B on stage with like Slim Thug and Paul Wall, on stage with the new guys, B King, Chose, Cheddar. Like now, it's close to perfect. It's not perfect, because there's a lot of fallen soldiers and a lot of people that were involved in this music scene that for various reasons can't participate. But if there's that moment in time where you can look and see the beginning the middle, it's never going to end, but the future, that's when you sit back and say, that's what Houston's all about. What I want to tell everybody is to have fun, keep that energy going. Yep. We're going to make it a movie tonight. We filming everybody in here. We really repping for Houston tonight. Houston is big talk right now. Houston, y'all got to stand up and make some noise right now. Houston, we got to get loud in here. First, let me hop out the motherfucking porch. I don't want it. Hit that ass, don't sit like a horse. I be ballin' on these niggas. Got me feelin' like sports. Dash got so much wood, I could build me a fort. Hang too many things, I ain't done yet. I'm the king of this shit. Crown by the toilet. I'm just barely getting started. You already upset. Got a tiger as a pet. I just took him to the vet. I woke up feeling like I need a honey scope. Look 
at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Windows rolled up, 